guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be doing a q a on the my most frequently asked questions about um, public health and just my internship the major the classes everything in general um just finally getting around to it. it's been like a year since i've been getting a lot of questions since i've been doing more of the public health videos um but yeah hope you guys enjoy i did a get ready with me um so hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into the video so today is halloween and hopefully you can get this video edited and up on Halloween, if not the day after Halloween. But, um, I'm so excited. I love Halloween. It's supposed to rain today. Let me check the weather because it's supposed to rain later on when we're supposed to go trick-or-treating. Not me. I'm not going trick-or-treating. But I'm taking some kids trick-or-treating. Yeah, it's going to start raining at 4. It's going to be raining all night. Bummer. Um... So, that sucks. So, we'll probably end up just doing something inside, like fun, like bake cookies and all that stuff. Watch Halloween movies. Um, so, all right, let's go with the first question. Someone says, hey, I'm planning on declaring a public health major next month and get started on this journey. Is there any way you can make a video giving advice on finding internships, especially for those with little experience? So finding finding an internship period is like kind of it's just difficult sometimes. I found my internship luckily like I was really quick. Actually, let me tell y'all what really happened. So I found my internship before the the last semester before we did our internship, we had to find one and I had found one like the beginning of the semester. And I went on my interview, everything. I have a video, I'll link it down below about my interview experience. But I found an internship and I got accepted into the internship. And then like like right before, I think it was the end of semester, they came back and they're like, we're not taking interns anymore. I'm like, you can't do that. <laughs> like that's really effed up. So a lot of us who applied for the internship ended up, um, you know, getting, getting it, you know, taken back and we had to find something else. But all I would say is just go on lots of interviews, um, use your professors, they're really good resources. Um, everyone has little experience, especially as a student with internships most of the time. So you're, all of y'all are gonna be in the same boat, more than likely. But your school, your professors, um, they know what they're doing and use them as resources, you're paying them, so why not? Um, but I would definitely say always um, be early with everything. Start at the beginning of the semester because our last semester was fully internships, no classes, nothing like that. So I um, would definitely say, you know, never wait till the last minute because a lot of people did and it ended up biting them in the ass later. So um, that would be my biggest advice. Just get on it early. Definitely make your connections as best you can. Get out there. Um, if you're... If you have, especially if you have, go to events because we had a lot of public health events um, where you can kind of network and connect with different people. That's how I ended up finding my first internship. Um, but obviously I didn't go, but um, but I found my second internship just getting out in my community and I found a really good one. So honestly, I have to tell you a story time of my internship. Like it was a great experience. I'm not going to lie, but the person that I was under like my the director but like the person that I like like my boss of the internship was a pain in the ass but it was a great experience and I learned a lot so but I'll definitely do a story time on that so hope that answers your question all right second question um, I just discovered your channel after searching up a day in my life in public as a public health major. I want to major in public health as well. I'm currently a senior in high school and can't wait to apply to college to apply to colleges with a public health major. Are the classes easy? Also, what college do you attend? So it's kind of an, I don't want to be rude or anything, but it's kind of insulting <laughs> when people say are the classes easy because college is not meant to be easy. It's not easy. There's no such thing as an easy major. There's no such thing. I mean, obviously some classes are going to be easier for some than others, but um, definitely there's no such thing as an easy like class or an easy major. Granted, I've taken easy classes like math is really easy for me. So 
I mean, when I took like all my lower level classes, like math was easy. But I, I had to work at it. Like it's been a long time since I've done calculus. I took calculus in like high school and it had been forever, but like overall you have to put some effort into it. That's why you go to college to one to wean out all the people who aren't going to work hard and get to where they need to go but it's you're being trained to be a professional in your field so it's it's meant to be hard so answer to your question is there's no such thing as an easy class there's no such thing as an easy major um you're gonna have to work super hard for it that's just life in general like nothing in life comes easy so for some people it does but most most of the time it just doesn't work that way um so and then answer to your question i probably didn't answer at the time what school that i go to i graduated from kennesaw state university in georgia in kennesaw georgia loved it loved the school loved the professors loved made some great friends um and yeah it was great i i it was an amazing experience for sure So I, um, and most of you probably know, but I got my bachelor's in science, bachelor of science in public health education. So, and well, public health, I always say public health education because some schools call it public health education. Some schools don't, but, or just public health. I like to say public health because people think that like I'm a PE teacher or something. I'm like, no, I'm not a PE teacher, guys. Nothing's wrong with being a PE teacher, but not a PE teacher. That would be physical education, physical education, just FYI. Um, someone said, I got my bachelor degree in public health. Amazing field, but it's hard to get a job. Um, I think just nowadays, it's just really hard to find a job just with our generation. Um, a lot of the times they want you to have a, a master's degree. I know for public health, they do. And they want you to have experience. And it's hard to have experience when you can't find a job. So it's kind of like a hamster wheel almost, like a never ending cycle of failure. But trust me, like I said, connect with people, get to know people, put yourself out there. Um, because you never know, like, it's not about what you know, it's who you know, I've learned that. Sorry, there's a car going by. It's not about what you know, it's who you know. So that is one lesson that I've definitely learned. That's how I got the job that I know got now um yeah it's I'm not gonna lie like there, there's a lot of um different jobs that you can do in public health like it's endless but it's just hard to find a job nowadays um I'll link everything I'm using down below if you guys are curious sometimes like I've definitely learned that degrees are not everything it's just like sets you apart from everyone I was always a big stickler and it's just kind of how I was raised that college is not an option and it's just like the only way out which i mean college is definitely not a bad thing but i don't feel like it's 100 percent necessary for everybody that's just my opinion like i was always like my kids are always gonna have to go to college they have to go to college because that's just what my parents taught me but i would never tell my kids that they have to go to college but it's definitely a good tool i'm not gonna say like don't go to college but I'm also not gonna say don't not go to college wait does that make sense <laughs> I feel like I just said the same thing but yeah I'm not like an advocate for college but it I think it's a good thing too so it just depends on the person next question I'm interested in all the tasks you do as a public health intern what large projects assignments do you have so I feel like I should probably just like do a separate video on my internship because it was just very interesting um, as far as like the projects and stuff. So I think I'll do a separate video on that, but <sighs> do I have lots of stories for you for my internship? Oh my God. It's crazy. Yeah, I think I'll do a separate video on my internship. Actually, I'll answer the question like for the internship. What were the large projects? assignments did you have and I'll do that as far as like like just the public health major in general my leg is falling asleep oh, if you guys are wondering my background is I don't have my desk yet so I can't like sit down and film a video where's the top 
Okay, so the largest project I think for me was definitely in my, um, what was it called? In my, I can't remember the class name, but it was just a class where we had to like come up with our own organization and like put it together and stuff. And then we had to present it and like actually like implement it. Program planning. So I was program planning the first semester. And then the second semester was uh, implement, like implementing the program. And that was a pretty daunting class. It was really fun, but oh my God, it was crazy. And then the second class, probably my second hardest class ever was definitely um, research. Research, every, I'm pretty sure every major has to do a research project, like a research class. It's dedicated to research. <sighs> Oh, that and policy, oh my God. The hardest class is ever, like literally it made me contemplate, like, is this really worth it? Um, guys, it was so hard. And then my professor in my research class was like super like smart, like too smart for his own good. So like if you would ask him a question, it wasn't like specific, he'd be like, so that's kind of like an opinionated question instead of like a straightforward question. Like it was like that. I'm like, will you just answer my question? Someone's car alarm going off. Life of living in an apartment complex is very interesting sometimes. But yeah, he'd be like, um, that seems more like a opinionated question or a question that you're like, and not a straightforward question. And I'm like, just answer the fucking question. It's ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous. Um, and then like his class like just didn't make sense. He would go on and on and on and on and on and on. All of us would be like, bro, what is he even saying? It was crazy. Um, and then my policy class, <coughs> she was just like a, she was a very nice person, very cool personality, all that stuff. But girl was hard, like really hard. She just really, really wanted you to work for what you like earn your grade and um, lots of reading, lots of reading. Um, and then she like called on people in the class. I hate classes like that. Just teach me and I'll go home and learn. Like I, I really hate classes like that. But it did help a lot because I'm comfortable with getting up in front of people and talking better, like more than I used to be. So I guess that helped in that aspect, but I prefer not to. Okay. Um, and then oh, we did a lot of group projects. Um, it's really important in public health to do like group projects because you'll be working with a lot of people and you have to learn how to get along and put all of your ideas together and make it one. So it's really important to do group projects even though they can be really annoying. My The best class I ever took in public health Like my most favorite class would probably be the sexuality class. That was really fun. Um, what was another class? The last semester, like the last semester of classes was probably one of my favorite except research and policy. But those classes were really fun. I can't remember what they were called. Um, like the disease, oh, disease prevention. Ugh, even though I really don't like my professor, I really enjoyed the class. Um, like just learning about different diseases and stuff. And then there was another class we did. Um, my environmental, environmental class was really fun. We did like a field trip. It was really cool. I can't remember any of the other. Like, I remember the classes, but I just can't remember the names. Um, and then I'm so like jealous because the, the class that goes, like the class that's graduating after, they more options than we did. Like they're getting more, like they have an HIV class that they're doing. Um, uh, some other classes they are offering now, like so jealous they hired like some different professors like a new professor that can teach more classes and so jealous i feel like i said classes like a billion times but seriously it's so jealous but yeah that's about it i'll do a separate video on um like my internship and stuff like just like my experience with my internship i've graduated now um so i can spill all the tea on that 
but um it was it was an, it was an experience it was an experience um but i hope that answers all y'all like y'all's questions um let me know in the comments if you all have any more questions and i'll do another q and a and yeah um i'll show you guys my hair and outfit once i head out the door because i'm going to wally world to find some halloween decorations for today all right thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to show you what i have on real quick i'm sure you've seen me wear this before but got this shirt screen from tj maxx um this is just a calvin klein bra that i like to wear under when i don't feel like wearing a bra bra and then these are from target um just some regular black plain black leggings and then the shoes i don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear i always keep my shoes down here i think i'm gonna go with my adidas these adidas yeah and i'm gonna put on these adidas and y'all that is the conclusion of this video i'm about to head out to walmart and yeah and then my hair is just up in a slick well slick as i can get it bun <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then everything that I use, like makeup-wise, is in the um, description if you guys want to check it out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.